In this video, we'll take a look at how to use the semi-automated heart segmentation tool in version 19 of the Mimics Innovation Suite. And this tool is part of the C and V module and it's extremely useful in speeding up heart segmentations, especially when you're trying to separate the four chambers and great arteries into individual masks so that they can be visualized or 3D printed in different colors. You'll find the tool in the segment menu under the cardiovascular section. It's called the CT heart tool, but don't let that confuse you. You can use it on either CT or MRI data. And so the first thing you'll want to do is adjust this bounding box to try to get in as close to the heart as possible so you can eliminate any of the extra pixels. So I'm just going to drag these in a little bit. And then once you've set that bounding box, the next step is to set your threshold range. So I'm just going to drag the slider for the minimum value of our range to about a value where I'm going to be you know, capturing the blood pool sufficiently, but I also don't want it too low where it's going to start bleeding out. So maybe somewhere about maybe right there for this data set. So at this point, you could try to go ahead and hit calculate. And if you're lucky and have a good data set, especially if it's like a normal heart anatomy, uh, it, it might be able to segment out the, the heart into the, its four chambers as well as the aorta and pulmonary artery and put all those into separate masks. Um, but sometimes, especially if the heart anatomy isn't normal, uh, you're going to have to rely on placing seed points into these different structures that you want to segment out. So to do that, we'll just hit this add button here. And the first thing we'll uh, place a seed point in is the LA or the left atrium. So I'll just place that there by left clicking. And then I typically look at my other two planes, make sure it's staying within the left atrium. If not, you can drag this uh, center point of the seed point around by holding down left click. And then we'll just go to the next chamber, which is the LV or left ventricle. And I'll scroll around to find that and left click to place another seed point. So typically I like to work in the axial images. And then I'll do the right atrium. And if you need to, you can adjust the size of these seed points by holding down left click and dragging the outer ring of the seed point. And you don't have to worry about the seed points encompassing the whole entire part of the chamber. You just got to get it somewhere close to give the algorithm uh, you know, a rough idea of what you want. And you can also place multiple seed points for each structure. So like for this aorta, I'll probably place one near the aortic root. And then maybe another one on the descending aorta. And I'll place multiple seed points for the pulmonary artery as well. Oops. Let me select that second one and hit remove. So I'll maybe place one near the root and then one in the left pulmonary artery branch and one in the right pulmonary artery branch. And there is a, an other category, so if there's any other structures you want to segment out besides these, maybe like an azagous vein, for example, uh, you can add seed points in other categories, segment those things out as well. But once you're done placing your seed points, you can go ahead and hit calculate. And so depending on the data set, you know, it might take anywhere from 5-10 seconds to a couple minutes to calculate. So once it's done calculating, you'll see we have our six masks here. So you can click on these, you can toggle these eyeglasses to show or hide them. And this is the point where you'll probably want to scroll through your data set, make sure it did everything well. And if not, you can adjust these seed points after the fact. Uh, you can even adjust their size. You can add additional seed points or remove seed points. Uh, if something didn't come out right and then you can just hit calculate again and it'll update based on those changes but if everything looks good you can go ahead and close out the tool 
And then if you see in our mask uh, tab up here, you know, we have all of our masks listed. Uh, so there is one for the blood pool, so it gives you the entire blood pool. If I turn on the 3D preview, you can see that. And then if we hold down shift and select the six individual masks, uh, you'll see it can render the heart and uh, you'll have an individual mask uh, for each of those structures with a different color associated with it. Thank <laughs> you.